Hello friends, you know how they say that you should try something new every now and then? Well, this is me trying something new because I ordered a kawaii box from Magical Suitcase. And in case you don't know what kawaii is, it is the culture of cuteness in Japan. Yes, that's a thing in Japan. As someone that really loves Japan, has been to Japan and loves Japanese RPGs like Persona 5, I thought why not give this a try. I should do my intro the kawaii way, like the Japanese cuteness way. So if you like these kind of videos then don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss another video of me again. Meow. Let's get unboxing. <laughs> that was so not cute. Here's the box. It is uh, pretty big and on the label we can see a Japanese girl. It might be from an anime but I don't recognize it and some other like cutesy stuff surrounding her. Before we dive into this box a big thank you to my patrons. You really help me keep this channel running. I really appreciate your help and if you feel like you have gotten enjoyment out of my videos or just want to show some support definitely go check it out. I will leave the link to my patron in the description. There are these cafes in Japan Tokyo. They are called Maiden Cafes and these are such weird places. You go in there, you order something, everything is just really cutesy. You order like a piece of pie or a milkshake or something like that and then this French maid, obviously they are dressed up, will bring your order. They will meow at you a couple of times and make these kind of movements and that's it. And every once in a while this weird alarm goes off and they go on stage and do karaoke. It's, I, I can't even explain it. It's such a weird experience, but I think that's kind of what kawaii means, like the culture of cuteness. Yeah, it's pretty hard to grasp when you don't live in Japan. Let's take our first look. So we got some green tissue paper and beneath that a lot of boxes. And a Funko Pop? I'm intrigued. <laughs> the spoiler card is on top, so let's put that aside for now. The first thing that caught my eye is the Funko Pop, so I'm just gonna grab that one. What am I gonna do with you? <laughs> it is a Hello Kitty Pop. Oh, that is kind of cool though. It is the 8-bit pop. It's pop number 31, Hello Kitty 8-bits. And at the back you can see the collection. So shouldn't they have given us the kawaii burger shop Hello Kitty? Or is Hello Kitty just a kawaii thing in general? See I don't have a clue. I have absolutely no idea where I'm going to display this pop because it doesn't go with my collection at all. I mainly have Disney and Harry Potter but I do really like it and it's really really cute. Next up I got this bag that reads Magical Suitcase Coffee Wild Sweet Strawberry Kawaii <laughs> with a little cute cat face on the label. So these are just coffee beans so you obviously need a coffee grinder to use these. It sounds like a weird mix but I'm trying new things here so I'm gonna drink coffee that tastes like strawberry. Next up is this little box and it is a mug. This is like cuteness overload. Oh my gosh. We got a unicorn cactus. I had no idea these were a thing. Um, <laughs> lots of hearts and then another unicorn that kind of looks like Hello Kitty and is floating on the clouds. <laughs> it says kawaii in colorful letters at the bottom. The only thing I don't like about the mugs from Magical Suitcase is that the design always stops at the back. <laughs> so there's this white space in between the design. But other than that, I really like it. I mean, it is definitely cute. I don't know what else to say. It is a very, very cute. It's, it's so cute. It's making me a little bit uncomfortable. Is that just me? <laughs> Let's see, there's an actual drink in the box and it is Mogu Mogu grape juice with Nata the Coco. Gotta chew. Are there things in this bottle? Oh man, I'm all about trying new things here today. So this is definitely something new for me. I have never seen anything like this. And I think this is grape juice with actual grapes that you gotta chew. It's funny though, because at the back it says it's a product of Thailand, which is definitely not Japan. But I mean, I'm not a kawaii expert, so it might be like in the same culture. 
mogul mogul. We have another box. Let's see what is in here. Ah, it is one of their candles. They do include a candle in every box and I've ordered a lot of magical suitcase boxes lately so I got a lot of candles now. <laughs> This is a really, really, really cute candle. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. Unicorn treats, forest fruits, and ginger. And we've got some cute unicorns on the label. Is it just me or do these products make you want to talk like a baby? Is that what happened at the Maiden Cafe? Is that the effect of kawaii? Suddenly you want to talk like you're six years old? Usually their candles look really pretty. Oh, I like that. See, I'm already, I'm doing it again. <laughs> There's a little bit of confetti and some sprinkles on the candle. And of course the wooden wick, which makes it burn evenly and make that nice crackling sound. Oh, it smells really good. <laughs> We've got an entire tube filled with sprinkles. <laughs> it says, eat me sweet sugar sprinkles. This is kind of cool though. I would never like thought of this. But it is something I would really like to have in my kitchen. If you eat dessert or something else, you can just put some sprinkles on there and it just looks cuter and more fun than just your regular piece of pie or cake. I like this. This is a very unique item. We are down to the last item in this box and it is very soft. I can tell you that. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> ah, this is so freaking cute. It is a plushie and it is super, super soft and it has a little tail. The tag says it is a cushion. So from now on, I can sit on a cat. I mean, how can you not look at this and smile? It is just way too adorable. <laughs> and that was everything in this box. I can tell you one thing, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for this box. This was way too cute. I do feel happy though, so that's that's a good effect. Let's take a look at the spoiler card. So it says, Kawaii, we present you the pearl of Japanese pop culture, the Kawaii box. Extremely sweet elements of this set are meant to make you feel cute, happy, and set a really sweet mood. What will you find inside? Well, that definitely happened. We got a total of seven items in this box. So apparently the Funko Pop was either Hello Kitty or Pusheen the Mogu Mogu beverage, the Unicorn Treats candle, the Wild Strawberry coffee, I'm very curious about that one, <laughs> Sugar Sprinkles, a Vial, Kawaii Mug, and the Pusheen Pillow. This was definitely fun. This was a new experience. I tried it. I would not want to receive a Kawaii box every month because I'm just not that into it, but I did really like it. And it was definitely cute and it made me happy. And I mean, it's always fun to introduce yourself to new things and try new things. I would have to check the price though of this box because I don't know if it was really worth it. I don't feel like there were really high quality items in this box. My favorite item of this box has to be the pillow because it's just so darn cute. I am just so curious to hear what you guys thought of this box and me trying something new. So definitely leave me a comment and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and let's stay in touch.